It's easy to forget these refugees are Europeans. But less than a week ago, they were living ordinary lives like millions of other civilians in Europe, albeit watched over by UN troops. But now the civil war and the Bosnian Serb rebels have driven them from their homes. They've lost everything. Thousands of Muslim men from Srebrenica, husbands, fathers, sons, are still missing. Some say they've been murdered by the Serbs. On Saturday, UN aid workers and the Bosnian government brought some order to the chaos in the camps near Tuzla. Many of the 11,000 refugees were bused to collection centers from the airport where they'd been left without food or shelter. The Bosnian winters are harsh, but the summer sun can also take its toll. Others have been sheltering in a school at Zivinica, 20 kilometers from Tuzla. But as more refugees arrive, some sick, the residents of the small town don't know how they'll cope. Srebrenica may not be the only UN safe area to be overrun by the Serbs. Zhepa too has come under mortar attack. Few are convinced by the tough talk from the UN. Any further offensive action against the civilian population of Eastern Bosnia will lead to increased international condemnation and isolation. If Zhepa is a repeat of Srebrenica, these camps already crowded may face another huge influx of refugees. To these people, it seems that the UN fiddles while their lives disintegrate around them.